Hi guys, Sasha for NetworkNews.com, still at CS 2011 and still in the Freescale suite and uh, we're still with Robert and Robert is going to show us a new smart device. Yeah, so obviously uh, you know it's already been declared that 2011 is the year of the tablet. Right. What we want to remind people is uh, we believe that also and you know the, the volumes will be there. But when we talk about smart devices, let's not forget about the other form factors that we think will play a part in 2011 and specifically 2012, which is the old clamshell. It's been around for a long time for a very good reason. Firstly, it's robust. Secondly, it has that thing that everybody's forgetting about, which is a true keyboard. So what we're seeing is that this is an example of a product uh, from a company called Genesee, which is actually US-based in San Antonio. Again, it's based on the uh, i.mx51, mm -hmm. so around 800 megahertz as a frequency. But really, they're looking—you know, this—you can call it uh, uh, the old thin, cl thin client. But it's you know, cloud computing is the usage model. But this is not a, as a, most tablets are. Although we've given you ex some examples of ones that are purely for consuming data. This is for creating data as well with that good old keyboard. Um, really, they're seeing a lot of interest from carriers in. Um, countries such as Mexico, Eastern right. Europe, and even Africa, where, remember, these are people that this will be their first connected device. Yes. So the carriers are looking at are penetrating these countries, and this is not a companion device. These are not. This is not something that will complement a smart book. Right. This will be the one connected device they have on the market. Uh, sorry, this will be the no one problem. connected device they have. So it's for consuming data, but it's also for creating data. It's based on a, a Ubuntu, um, and, it's, and it's super thin, yes. as you can see over here, right? And we have a couple of USB 2.0 here on the side, and nice uh, chiclet keyboard. That's yeah. a 10-inch display, I guess. 1024 by 600 should be the resolution yeah. then. So again, There's a yeah, camera it, on the front. It has a camera. So again, you know, the usage model is you know connecting to the cloud. Um, very little, if any, local storage. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's really saying this is a device that with a 3G, 4G, LTE, whatever you want to call it, integrated, will give you, in, in terms of a lot of people, the tablet is great, but in terms right. of being the only product and creating data, it, it still has some ways to go. So this is a good alternative. Uh, in terms of price points as well, in terms of you know the cost of developing a product like this, it is slightly cheaper than a tablet because yeah. of the components and the, uh, you know the, the volume that goes into a netbook and the notebooks today and the uh, and the, the, the same similarity in terms of the supply chain. So the advantages is you know creation of data, lower cost point, and this is what we believe you're going to start seeing a lot of in maybe not in the U.S. but in terms of Eastern Europe, right. Africa, right. India, and and other countries that are looking sure at, at making. A, a larger percentage of their population is actually able to get connected and to be, um, you know, creative and innovative. So we have another four-in-one card reader jack yep. for your headset and a PSU connector, and that's your, I guess, your power switch. Oh no, it's, uh, it's, it's a switch on the Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay, so very interesting. Can you tell us a little bit about the price point? No, I guess you can, right? It's a matter of the volumes. And yeah, stuff. I think, you it's know, because this is going to be looked as, you know, the, the, the main people that are looking to bring into this to market are the carriers. Mm -hmm. So again, mm -hmm. just as with netbooks, they're going to look to have a fairly low, you know, initial price point, yeah. maybe as low as $99 or okay. lower in, in third world countries. Okay. Um, and then, you know, get their revenue through a two-year subscription. But I think what they're looking at is to penetrate and grow the overall market of this type mm -hmm. of device mm -hmm is it's going to be a fairly low price point um, and we'll see where, you know, determine where, you know, it's to be determined where that will be. Fantastic. So it's called the Genesee. Yeah. It's, uh, the official name is the Ethica MX Netbook. Okay. Um, as we go. said, it's a, it's a smart device. Right. And we're going to leave it as that. Um, you, can, <laughs> you can really, I think what we'll see is, uh, you know, companies will come up with different branding and different positioning. Right, and. Right. Uh, come up with in, 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 innovative names for this type of product, but it's a good old clamshell that will allow Great. you to be creative and innovative. And look how thin it is. And it's super light. I think this yep. is this is almost below one kilogram. Yeah. Very cool. So this is a Genesee smart device with a Freescale platform. Yep. Thank you so much, Robert, for talking us through. All right.